Hey everybody, this is Dewan Matunga from DewanMatunga.com and uh, I just wanted to shoot this quick tutorial to show people how to track their email conversions using Google Analytics. So I'm going to make this assuming that you already have a confirmation page that you're redirecting your subscribers to and we're just going to jump right in and head over to Aweber. That's where uh, I host my, my email list and in Aweber you can go right to my list you're gonna go to list settings you're gonna jump right in there you're gonna go to confirmed opt-in you're gonna scroll to the bottom of the page if you see where it says success page here and it says confirmation success page URL you're gonna paste or type in your confirmation page URL whatever it may be and you're gonna hit save settings once you see that it's successfully saved you can jump right in to Google Analytics you're gonna go over here where it says admin you're gonna click admin you're going to hover right over goals click goals and you can just click any one of the goals here I'm gonna click this one here and you're gonna jump right in you're gonna go to goal name and we're gonna name our goal this is uh what the conversion goal is so we're gonna go and name this subscribe to email list right because that's what we're tracking we're gonna set it to be active the goal type is a URL destination because it's basically going to trigger the goal to track it whenever a person lands on this URL. We can scroll down and go to goal details. And here you're going to input the URL, but you don't have to put the entire URL, just the URL for the page, if that makes sense. Uh, so my page is thewamatunga.com forward slash blog forward slash thank you I'd only put thank you here so whatever yours is just put forward slash and the name of the page we're gonna jump down go to match type um, this doesn't really make much of a difference but I always use head match for some reason works perfectly fine for me we're gonna go to save once we save you'll notice that it says subscribe the email list there as a goal set so that means we're ready to rock and roll we can go over to home we click home now you can see they have some preset widgets but it's not what we're looking for so we're gonna go over and click new dashboard we click new dashboard you want to make sure you get the blank canvas so you can click blank canvas and we're going to go down and we're going to name our dashboard. We're going to name this one Email Conversions. And I'm going to create the dashboard here. So the first thing I want to do is get a holistic view of how many subscribers I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a metric widget. And I'm going to go down to add a metric. I'm going to click there and I'm just going to use this the search feature so I don't have to keep scrolling subscribe and I'm going to look down and I'm going to go to subscribe to email list goal one completion and I'm going to click that basically what that tells me is every time somebody subscribes it's going to be captured and it's going to be shown in my widget so I'm going to go down to widget title I'm going to rename this I'm going to name it um, total subscribers I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click save so as you can see we have a new widget and our new dashboard that's gonna track the total amount of subscribers we have so we want to also track or it's also very smart to track your conversions daily so we can go in and we can create another widget for that but this time we're going to check the timeline we're going to click on timeline and we're going to go to 
add a metric and follow a metric over time. We're going to type in in the search bar, subscribe to email list because that's our goal. And we're going to click subscribe to email list, goal one completion again. Now, this is a little different. This is going to kind of give you the look that you get when you're looking at your daily traffic, but it's just for your conversions. So we're going to go to widget title. We're going to name this one daily conversions. We're going to click save. Now you'll notice that you have a timeline graph here that's going to tell you how many people you have subscribed per day. So we got two widgets down. There's another widget that you're going to need. Um, and that widget is going to show you where the subscriber came from. So I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to click add widget again. This time I'm going to go to table. I'm going to click table. I'm going to go over here where it says add dimensions and I'm going to click there. Now what we want to track is what page it came from. So I'm going to type in the search function here, page. I'm going to go down, click page. From there, we want to track certain metrics. We're going to go in. We're going to type in subscribe to email list again because that's our goal. Um, and we're going to click goal one completions again. And we're going to go over and this time we're going to search and we're going to click the conversion rate because now we want to know how well certain pages are converting. And this will help you with testing and setting up funnels. Um, and so it's, all, it's always good to know where your leads are coming from. So we'll just leave a uh, show a table with 10 rows. We'll leave that. And we're going to go down to widget title. And we're going to rename this widget. We're going to name this widget uh, subscription source. So this is going to tell us where our subscribers are coming from. We're going to click save. Now, if you look in your dashboard, you're going to see your three widgets, your total subscribers, your daily subscribers, and your subscription source, your subscription path that's telling you where your subscribers are coming from. Hope you found this helpful. If you want more tutorials or more insight like this, you can go to dewarmatunga.com. I'll see you guys on the other side. Later.